Hi, this is the October 2022 studio update. I'm fantasy illustrator Rose Catherine Kahn, and I'm a creator of puzzles, books, and a lot of other nifty products, and this is my update. You probably noticed things have changed around the studio quite a bit, uh, especially in the past several months. Uh, I actually moved from Rochester, New York, down to Winter Garden, Florida. And this was quite a move. Uh, I've never left the state of New York. Uh, I've never rather lived outside the state of New York uh, before. And it was time uh, for a move. It was just time. There was a lot of things going on, uh, personal things, family things, just a uh, midlife crisis things, just various things coming together. And uh, we decided to pack it up and uh, I moved my family and we are loving it. We live in basically the backyard of the Magic Kingdom, uh, more or less. Um, we're about a 15, 20 minute drive from Disney and we are already going there quite often. So it's pretty amazing. Uh, we're in a part of Winter Garden known as Horizon West, which is a master planned community. And they do so many awesome events here. It's kind of like living in college again in that there's activities you just kind of like can walk to. Um, and speaking of activities, I'm starting to participate in those. Uh, there are two shows coming up. Uh, Horizon West Flavor Fest, and then the uh, Holiday Marketplace at Hamlin, and I'm actually going to be selling my art at both of those shows. So I'm going to give it a try. I haven't done an outdoor show before, and I swore that I would never do an outdoor show since most of my products are paper-based to a certain extent. I mean, puzzles uh, definitely uh, would be susceptible to rain, as would books, um, but... I used to live in the Northeast and the weather was definitely not as nice as it is down here in the fall. So I decided to give it a try. So I'll be doing those two shows next month. Let's go on to the puzzle updates. Puzzle updates. Okay, the first big one, Seiko is going to be producing uh, three of my designs. Uh, we're going to be doing a re-release of Dragon Valley. Uh, and then for the first time ever, we are going to be releasing the Summer Dragon Circus as well as the Dragon Post. Um, those are already in production. I have seen the box art for them. It is gorgeous. I'm super excited. Um, and those should be in Walmart, Target, um, a lot of those mainstream uh, retailers. So, and that those will be in the US and I believe Canada as well. So once you see them, please let me know because I haven't seen them on the shelves yet and we know they're coming out sometime uh, for this Christmas season. Okay, uh, the next puzzle update I have I don't know if I have the box images for these yet. Okay, Schmidt, uh, which is a manufacturer, it's a German manufacturer of puzzles. Uh, they are going to be picking up four of my existing designs, or, or rather three of my existing designs, and then one new one uh, that I created for them as the, uh, I think we're calling it a portal of the realms of the four seasons, something along those lines. I've been wanting to create a four season fantasy piece uh, for quite a while, so this was a fantastic opportunity uh, to do so. So I created that for Schmidt over the summer and that should be coming out soon. Um, also Glimmerstone Bakery, which I think has been renamed. Let me see. Is coming out uh, with crazy art. And I think I've seen the box for that. I'll have to go dig through my email. Um, I know it sounds like I don't know what's going on sometimes with my puzzles. It's just, you've got to understand the timelines for these things are so long. Um, and then I'll just, you know, get an email, the blue from my agent saying, Hey, here's the box art, give me your approval. And then it'll be several months until that box art gets printed. And then I start to see it on retail shelves. And by that point, my brain is already two projects down the line. 
Um, what else? Jig All Jigsaw Puzzles actually released a wooden version of Fantasy uh, Bake Shop. I know I'm jumping around. Hold on, I gotta grab this box because it's pretty cool. Okay, so this one is being sold through alljigsawpuzzles.com, but the manufacturer is actually Ronald W. Butler's Traditional Wooden Jigsaws. Um, so this is a UK manufacturer, but you can order uh, for delivery in the US. And last I checked, this one is retailing for about $40 uh, because it is a wooden 300 piece. I have not put this one together yet, but I'm gonna show you um, what this comes in. This one is, you get a little nifty bag for this one. And it's very, can you hear the sound? Uh, so that's just a fun traditional uh, wooden jigsaw. So that's what the pieces look like for that one. Uh, so once again, that's being sold through alljigsawpuzzles.com. And, ooh, give you a pretty good poster on that one. I think this is one of the larger poster sizes I have seen. Which version is this? There we go. Yeah. dropping things okay other things uh hot topic has picked up uh some of my artwork for t-shirt designs and we're not sure when those are coming out um and i'm also working with goody two sleeves um on some enamel pin designs which should also distribute in hot topic also on the apparel front i've just signed a contract with uh, Geek Tropical, and they make these really nice button downs that are nerdy, and I love designing patterns. So we put together a few designs for them. I'm um, actually working on some more this morning. Um, the designs that have kind of a gamer theme. I got some unicorn designs in there, some things that are very Halloweeny, and something that's a little more like traditional Hawaiian shirt, but with a dragon twist to it. Uh, so that is another thing I put together for them. Okay, let's talk Centurnia. Uh, so the third book, uh, Whispers in the Azure, uh, that have released over the summer and sales for that have been going pretty well. Uh, I haven't been promoting it too heavily though because the move pretty much uh, took over my summer. Um, and then after the move, I don't know if you heard, there was this thing called a hurricane and Hurricane Ian, and it kind of blew through here as well. Um, so that was kind of a thing and then lots of other things. Anyways, so back to Centurnia. Um, and no, my house didn't get damaged. We didn't have any flooding. I mean, we got a lot of wind, we got a lot of rain, uh, but like that was about it. Thankfully, um, I'm in central Florida, so it's a very protected uh, in comparison to the, the coastal areas, which were much harder hit. Back to Centurnia. Uh, I am working on the fourth book, uh, Child of Oramice, and I'm also working on re-editing the first and second books um, just to have a revised edition because I have that power and ability, so I may as well. Um, also, this summer I hired an assistant, my studio assistant. Um, her name is Sparrow and you might see her in some of my posts and videos. She is helping me out with a, uh, basically with the social media, the marketing stuff, the editing, um, because I, I just don't have the bandwidth anymore and I realized that if I had an assistant, I could get some more things done. Uh, so she's been doing a fabulous job and you'll be seeing more of her. I talked about my upcoming shows. I talked about puzzles. I talked about Centurnia. Um, my two latest upcoming, oh yeah, I finished the uh, Sea Unicorn Haven, uh, that mangrove inspired piece. And uh, that one is still up for grabs. Uh, my agent is shopping it around. So we're gonna see which manufacturer picks it up. Um, I'm anticipating that you're going to see that one on shelves uh, by early next year. Mm, what else? Uh, I'm working on three pieces <laughs> at once. Uh, one is a tropical inspired 
uh, fantasy. Oh, my thing is all crooked there. Okay. Um, one is just a tropical inspired fantasy world with just tons and tons of creatures and critters. And then I have another one that is sort of a companion piece to the fantasy bake shop and that is Stardust Scoops. So an ice cream themed uh, world. And then the third one I'm working on uh, is for White Mountain Puzzles. And I've recently signed a contract with them and I can't release any details about that one at the moment, um, but it is a bit more of a traditional uh, puzzle design. So a little less overtly fantasy, uh, but still a really neat room design. So that's White Mountain. I'm actually doing a couple for them as well. I joined the Orlando Urban Sketchers group. I have started to go and do things like you know, go to Disney Springs in the morning and sketch. I got my boo buckets. I was just looking at those here. Let me show you. I'm very excited about my boo buckets. McDonald's re-released those. And I've got that. Um, I'll just show you a bunch of random clips from Florida. And then I'll give you a speed paint of what I've been currently working on. And those are the Disney fireworks, which I can see from my house. He's so cool. I bet you that's a tree frog. He's so cool. Look at him hanging out under our plate. That's what Going I under the sign, we are official Florida residents, and this is our first time back at Disney World. So apparently this little buddy hitched a ride with me to the DMV and I am just now seeing him. Let's see if I could get him out of the car. Poor little dude.